This video is part of a series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, look at my website to get more details. We're using two plugins to automatically import the content and widgets used in StudioPress demo sites. In this video, I'm using the Genesis sample theme and that only uses two plugins, which are eNews Extended and Simple Social Icons. And we've already got those installed but you will probably be using a different theme. So go to my webpage, list of plugins used in StudioPress themes and have a look for your theme. There's a list of themes and have a look for your theme and see if it needs any other plugins. If your plugin, if your theme does use extra plugins, uh, have a look on the list and install the plugins you need. So this is where we are so far. The theme and plugins are activated, but there's no content and no widgets in the site. So in the dashboard, I want to go to Tools, Import. Now there's Widget Import and Import. First, we're going to go to Tools, Import. We want to choose WordPress. And now we're going to choose the uh, double, uh, the XML file that we have on our desktop. So when you go to Tools Import, you need the XML file. When you go to Tools Widget Importer and Exporter, you need the .wie file. So we're doing Tools Import, and that means we need to choose the XML file. In the last video, we dragged the files we needed onto the desktop, and this is what I need. It's the XML document. So I just need to choose that one, open, and then I need to upload and import. You'll have to choose a user that's on your system and then you'll have well, you, uh, click the download and import file attachments as well then click submit and this will now import the, the pages and posts and some sample images into your website. It's imported the content so now if we look at our website, it was empty before. There was no content and no widgets. Now there's still no widgets, but it's got the content. These are the blog posts in our website that have been automatically brought in. Now we've imported the content. We're going to import the widget settings using the widget importer and exporter plugin. So we need to go to tools, widget importer and exporter in the dashboard. So tools, widget importer and exporter not import but widget importer and exporter and I have to choose the file that we need so once again on the desktop where we put the the files that we needed I've got the WIE widget import export file I want to choose that one click open and then click import widgets and it's imported the widgets and the widget settings but you must, you see it says there, Genesis eNews Extended and Social Icons. You must have the plugins you need installed before you can do that. So your theme must be activated and the plugins must be installed and activated too. So we'll look at our web page again and see what's happened. This is where we were before, just the content. We refresh the page. We've got the content and the widgets. we still need to set up the nav bar so so we're going to activate the menu go to appearance menus this menu was brought in with the content so i've got to manage locations appearance menus manage locations and this theme uses a primary navigation menu so i'm going to choose that one save changes and now the menu will appear. We refresh the page. There's the menu. Now in this theme, there's another menu here and that's in the header right widget area. And it's always worth checking in your theme to see what's in the header right widget area. So we've got to appearance, widgets. Look in the header right widget area and this one's got a custom menu and then you can choose a menu here in the drop down list. Not all themes have a, a menu in the header right widget area, which is 
this here, but some do, and it's worth checking just to see if your theme does. You now have a basic website set up to look similar to the Studio Press demo site. You now need to open each widget area and edit or change each widget to suit your needs. Each one will have a different, might have several different widgets inside it. So just change the settings to suit whatever your site needs. For instance, you might want to change the text in this uh, newsletter header there. So that's the sidebar. So we just need to go to primary sidebar, Genesis e news extended plugin, and that's the title there. So you would change that. Your practice site is now set up like the Studio Press demo site. In future videos, I'll explain more about the individual widgets used in the StudioPress demo sites and how you can customise them to suit your own needs.